YouTube. Um, if this is going to be your reaction, hi, how you doing? You're not alone. Let's see what's going on. Hello, guys and gals, me, Mudahar, and you know, there's a few things that you shouldn't be doing on YouTube. And one yeah. of them is damaging your body to the point where you probably oh! can't get one. Okay, I know who this is about. It's about that fucking guy who kept being awake for... What was it, 18 days? And I think then someone made a tweet about that the actual world record is 21 days and not 18 days. Chat, YouTube shut his live stream down. YouTube shut this live stream down because how badly damaging it is to himself. Bro! Bro! And then he went to kick. Whatever damage you did reversed. And what am I talking about, ladies and gentlemen? I'm talking about a streamer that I came across that frankly is trying to perform the Russian sleep experiment creepypasta in real life. Now, way back in the you know first throws of my channel, I want to say like the first Thanks, 50 videos I made, one of them was Haunted Gaming, the Russian sleep experiment, where basically for anybody that didn't know, this was a story about Russian researchers in the 40s. And basically what they found was a stimulant gas, Nova 6, that they just basically gave to a bunch of people that they captured and uh, kept what? them awake to the point where they became actual feral insane zombies. What? Now I'm sure that, you know, in the grand scheme of things, there's probably a whole bunch of people out there, a whole bunch of agencies, businesses that would love if human beings didn't need to sleep. But sleep is one of those things where it's like, it actually is really- Like personally chat, like let's be real. If your body didn't need sleep, if your body didn't need sleep and your body be completely fine, I feel like I feel like sleep is such a waste of time overall. Like, we only have that many years on the fucking earth. Sleep is such a fucking waste of time. I'm not saying don't sleep. I'm saying that if it was possible, it would be cool to not having to sleep. Uh, I need to shut up the voices somehow. <laughs> really creepy from an evolutionary perspective. We've done all of this evolution. We've never managed to cut out that one third of the day where we need to lay down and keep our eyes shut and regenerate parts of our body. So again, this is a YouTuber known as Norm. Now Norm has 1.2 million subscribers and I agree with this header. I feel sad that the dinos died, but Norm might end up dying if he doesn't actually it's change some of his ways. Now Norm's content is, you know, pretty much as standard as you could find it. You know, he rates countries and never EAS knew alarms. This guy I'm a fan him. of EAS alarms. Never knew him. You know, he's got videos where he the watches Burger him. King ads without singing along, which I think is Well, he has 1.8 million views on this video. Who's this guy? Did you guys ever hear of this guy? Valid, you know, at the end of the day, like if you do this, you're, you're kind That's of sick of it. actually, Greeny. Here's the thing, even if we didn't sleep, it would still be useful for mental separation, so life doesn't feel like a non sub -for. That's a good, that's a good point. Visual might need to be waterboarded, I'm not Don't sure. Here and from... of course he rates Wait. low quality Roblox memes. Uh, <laughs> implying that there might even be a fucking high quality Roblox <laughs> meme somewhere else. Now one of the things that Norm has been uploading for the last uh, month, rather, is staying awake for 12 days straight live. Insanity. Now why would Norm attempt Insanity. this uh, kind of a challenge? When I first saw this, I thought maybe he did it because of the recent Mr. Beast thing that came out recently with like the guy stay like staying awake in the room or whatever, or no being isolated for days. I'm stupid. Why would it have any correlation? No, that can't be it. Like, see, I'm just stupid. I thought that maybe it was related, but it probably ain't. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Norm is deciding to get a record. Now, according to the lads over at the Guinness Book of World Records, they said that uh, the longest record that somebody had gotten was Robert McDonald, who went 453 hours and 40 minutes without sleeping in 1986. Now, uh, obviously, wow. Norm's record wouldn't really be beating that. But uh, there's also another revelation. Although we no longer monitor the record due to the inherent dangers associated with sleep what deprivation, you look at that? We, can see that, we can say that no one is known to have broken it since McDonald. 
Is it possible for a human to stay awake for 19 consecutive days? Now, obviously, the amount of people trying to break records for various things, you know, this is something that's been going on as old as time. Cavemen have been trying to break records against each other. But the content... Bro. This guy permanently damaged his fucking brain. For what? For cloud. The sleep deprivation is one that even the largest record holders in the world don't want to mess around with. Because when you don't sleep for that long, it can result in various illnesses, okay? I'm not just talking about sneezing, I'm talking about dying. <laughs> now, sleep is actually pretty- I heard dying is pretty lethal, Chad. I heard dying is pretty lethal. On a personal level, because as somebody that does suffer from sleep paralysis, uh, I genuinely have had, like, I, I wanted to research, like, why human beings even needed to do this kind of shit. Sleep paralysis is so bad. Sorry for already pausing them, but I only ever had sleep paralysis once, and the second time I wasn't even sure if it was proper sleep paralysis. Uh, I didn't have any sleep paralysis demons, but I just couldn't move. My body did not move. I remember, like I remember waking up. Like I remember the the dream I was having. Weirdly enough, the entire dream was in black and white. Like your old movies, you know? So everything was like grayscale. And I was with like an old co-worker of one of my old jobs. And we were walking up a bridge and the bridge was like curved, but it was going up really high. And once we got to the top of the bridge, I heard loud thunder. So loud that it shook me awake. At least I think I was awake. But I couldn't move. I couldn't move after. It was... I was horrified. I was horrified, man. I probably was lying there for like, I don't know, it felt like an eternity, man. At one point, my cats came closer to me and... That kind of chilled me out then, but holy shit, man. That was creepy. In the first place. And, uh, you know, alongside researching why we need to sleep, which, you know, surprisingly, we don't really know a whole lot of. The whole concept of, you know, the hag or people, like, your dreams messing around with you in that state while you're sleeping and awake, that in-between state, is genuinely a freaky feeling that I've been trying to figure out why the mind chooses to go down that road. So anyways, to go back to our pal here, uh, Norm, I wanted to see just how legitimate some of this stuff was. So around a month ago, oh, all right, bro. he was just having, he was just uploading standard stuff, like happy scary birthday, Roblox Chad. game. There's a happy birthday. You think one of his chatters dared him? Happy birthday, chat. I have a car now. So you know, they all seem <laughs> nice. pretty harmless. And then, of course, a month ago, he started staying awake for 12 days straight. Failed attempt. Failed attempt. Failed attempt. Until finally, three weeks ago, he started actually staying awake. Now, I looked through these videos, and you can see by the red bar, I've basically skimmed through 11 it's hours, still alive. hours oh, that, It was still live at the time? And there are no, moments where he actually okay, is just mind. awake. Like, these clips end and begin as sort of different intervals and recording blocks. So, obviously, the reason why these are only 12-hour VODs is because, according to YouTube, if your live stream is less than 12 hours, YouTube basically archives it for you. However, if your stream exceeds 12 hours, it may not be captured at all. Imagine oh. staying away for 12 days and not having the video proof to prove it. Oh. Now, you might not okay, have heard so of this, and why. I think that Got pretty it. much is understandable because obviously not a lot of people are really watching these streams. I'm not here to shame the view counts on these streams, but it wouldn't be more than like, I would imagine, hundreds, would, like, if not maybe slightly over a thousand it would, like, live viewers. You're up in every now and then. Viewers you know? who are watching a man. Just not that interesting. Harm their body, okay, over time. Now, what's interesting about this too is in the quest for viewership, Norm decided to post a little update he got from YouTube, where he actually ended up getting a goddamn strike on his channel. There it is. So if you look really carefully over here, past his face, uh, it looks like his uh, stream awake for twelve <laughs> days world record, which wouldn't be a world record by the way, because that would be and eighteen days, uh, actually violated community guidelines. And if you can kind of read over here, it says, we think your content doesn't follow our harmful and dangerous policy. Content that They're promotes right. harmful or dangerous. They're so right. That I, I think like YouTube did actually a good job by taking it down. Why are you playing? 
or like at least striking him. That was the right decision. Thanks for the follow, staying yo yeah, Bering. Thank you, Gatlin Scott. I'm honestly, good on YouTube. Good on YouTube. Dangerous activities that risk serious physical harm Rare or death. YouTube W. YouTube. Rare and YouTube yeah, obviously W. Obviously, if you look through YouTube self harm policies, they literally say, "Please don't promote content glorifying self harm." I think trying to get a world record, it's not an educational video, it's just literally this one that kid really is. basically offing themselves for viewership. Instructions on how to <laughs> die, engage in self-harm. Yeah, staying awake for that long, definitely engaging in self-harm. Now, live yeah. streams would generally just be inside his, like, home. Like, he would literally just be sitting inside his place, cooking, eating food, just in front of his stream while Basically awake, just saying, or what he claims awake, is 34 yeah. plus hours at this point. Now, again... Uh, ladies and gentlemen, obviously this is one of those things where I really don't think obviously this person's harming anybody but themselves and by extension even the people around them. So obviously I understand why YouTube jumps in for the self-harm. I've kind of had a weird thing understanding YouTube self-harm rule. Like for instance when Nikocado Avocado or any of these like oh my uh, God. mukbang channels eat like 30,000 calories at a time and then just stuff that into their- David YouTube needs to tag Nikado Avocado down as well in this case, man. Or like at least strike him. Like Nikado Avocado is honestly It's not good. It's not good. Body and visibly get larger and larger as they upload content. How is that also not considered self-harm, right? So obviously I understand why YouTube jumped in and I have no objection to them going in, but I always find the self-harm room rule to be so wild. Like imagine doing like a super drinking stream, right? Like you're just chugging back like By the way, chat, by the way, re regarding drinking streams, um, on the partner discord that I'm on, uh, someone was asking if according to Twitch guidelines, um, it's allowed to like drink for subs, like, like taking a shot for like subs or something. It's actually against Twitch guidelines. I didn't know. Because it's under cell phone category. Because um, the reason given was... Irish, thank you so much for the follow. The reason given was... Because there used to be some streamers who would like drink like a vodka bottle on stream and then go back and refill it with water and then pretend they would like drink more. But then there were other streamers, uh, streamers that were mirroring that... Um, behavior but actually came back with another vodka bottle so it would be really 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 bad so that stuff like taking a shot for subs is prohibited drinking on stream is yes it's a gray a area and it's okay in moderation but not taking a shot for subs so I'm um, just letting you all know and be careful with that shit, man. Jack and crack and <laughs> knowing full well when your body reaches that stage where you're like yakking, that's just your actual body forcing you to eliminate poison from its system. It is definitely insane. But yeah, this is one thing that I was kind of watching with morbid curiosity. And I kind of expected that YouTube would have jumped in at some point. So obviously what happened It'll over here karma. was Thanks for the uh, Norm, like many YouTubers in this camp, didn't actually learn anything. <laughs> because four hours ago, not. he was going to kick.com to finish that the world record stream. As mentioned. Now you can start to see that there's some actual brain damage occurring after what appears to be 48 hours of sleep deprivation. Where Bro, that means YouTube took quite a quite a long time to actually like shut them down you can't man. even spell the word world right seen plenty of shots for sub streams yeah i have too just as of recent um as long as people do it in moderation you know who am i to judge them i'm no one to judge them but they are guidelines are guidelines so if you go over to the kick stream right over here surprisingly the guys and gals over at kick.com were like, whoa, 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 oh, whoa. Killing they got yourself here? Not they, happening on our page. They got a... No way. Even kick got him out. Even kick said, nah, ah, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Ain't doing this shit here either, bro. Error 404, the channel appears to actually have been banned. Now, think about looking into a lot of even stuff, rarer too. Kick Obviously, w, yeah. I don't expect Norm to be unbanned from these channels until he learns from stuff. I think that there is a serious Black Mirror-esque situation when oh you actually, God, actually witness man. somebody, like this young, by the way, 
actually harming themselves to this extent for literally not for a worthwhile amount. There's nothing. actually no for viewership nothing. that's worthwhile. Like, literally. Like, oh my god, that pause. <laughs> he Firstly, he barely got any views. Secondly, he's ruined his life. No views in hell. No views in hell are worth this. No views in hell are worth self-harm. You could have three million live viewers, and if you're dead after 12 days, then it's not what, really- What's it matter? It, obviously, it wasn't worth it. So yeah, here what's you can it see matter? the Randy Gardner sleep deprivation experiment, which is a American from San Diego who once held the record for the longest amount of time a human had gone without sleep. So obviously, the new record was Robert McDonald, who stayed up for 18 days and 21 hours. Yeah. So Gardner's attempt was actually attended total. by Stanford sleep researchers while his health was monitored by Lieutenant Commander John J. Ross. A log okay. was kept by two of Gardner's classmates, Bruce McAllister and Joe Marciano Jr. So to understand the health effects that this person suffered from, so according to the actual extreme sleep deprivation here, they found mood changes, obviously with tiredness, people get erratic. Yeah. But then you start to get problems with concentration and short-term memory, paranoia, and yes, obviously hallucinations. You're have that's the yeah, that's the one. That's the one that first comes to my mind when you stay up for this long. On the eleventh day, when he was asked to subtract seven repeatedly, starting at one hundred, he stopped at sixty-five. When he asked why he stopped, he replied that he had forgotten what he was doing. So, oh. to give an idea, that's how fucked your brain is, all right? He basically oh. was told, all right, from a... 65. What was I doing? Holy shit. All you got to do is minus seven. So, he keeps going down mentally, obviously. And eventually, when he gets to 65, he just stops. Like, he doesn't have any idea what he's doing. His brain is that fried. Now, what happened to the long-term damage? Well, according to the recovery over here, the sleep researchers who were there, what they had noticed was after he had done the record, they had put him into sleep. He went to sleep for 14 hours and 46 minutes. So it's not that just because okay. you're awake for like 10 days. Yeah, you know, no, that's just not like how four. this works. <laughs> that's just not how this works, no. No, you're gonna sleep like a reasonably normal amount of time, if not slightly more. He wakes, he wakes naturally around 8.40 p.m and stayed awake until about 7.30 p.m. the next day when he slept an additional 10 and a half hours. So he basically kind of recovered. But however, later on in life, he started experiencing serious insomnia, insomnia? Yeah, decades after that experiment. There it so, is. So even though after all of this stuff, like even after the Guinness Book of World Records doesn't maintain this record anymore, you still have people who basically attempt these records. So back in 2007 Insanity on the BBC, man. this guy was apparently trying to break the record for 11 days and nights. And of course, while well, he says the hardest part, it's like, I feel pretty good. It's been a bit of a slog, but I got there. He says that his Stone Age diet of raw food helped parts of his brain stay awake and Please tell me he wasn't eating raw meat. Please tell me he's talking about, like, fruits. Please, please tell me he's talking about fruits. Remain functional for long periods. He said oh it makes boy. it harder to switch from one side of the brain, which is really tired, to the other. Now, okay, according to this, uh, night, the Hellgore. actual, like, record attempt was apparently monitored by CCTV cameras and webcams. So he set out to keep a full video record of the entire 11 days as proof he stayed awake. And mind you, this guy is like researching into this entire fact, <gasps> not for like fame or fortune, but to basically show the extreme neurological degeneration that can effectively occur. Okay, Even fair, he did it for research. Still crazy, but... Claimed, uh, you, know, you know, some people... <laughs> some people doing same pe things for research. You know, in their, in their words, to increase like a forced insomnia. And obviously, do I recommend you do anything like this? Fucking no. no. And of course, this threw me down into a rabbit hole where I even started to figure out and look up CIA documents of what they call enhanced interrogation. So enhanced interrogation, for oh, those no. of you who don't know, uh, basically it's torture, okay? So according oh, no. to the Central Intelligence Agency, the their Uranus. guideline on medical and psychological Uranus. support to detain detainee rendition, interrogation, and detention, December 2004. These are their following guidelines to offer general references for medical officers supporting the rendition and detention of terrorists captured and turned over to the CIA for interrogation and debriefing. 
So yeah, imagine going to somebody that's given a Hippocratic Oath and giving them a guideline on how to, like, basically torture the human body. Effectively, by the way. So when you get to the sleep deprivation point of this, they say sleep deprivation with or without associated stress positions. So yeah, putting you into a part of the body that um, you're not going to feel too good about is amongst the most effective adjuncts to interrogation and is the only technique with a demonstrably cumulative effect the longer the deprivation, the more effective the impact. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The standard approval for sleep, sleep deprivation per se is 48 hours. The amount of sleep required public? between deprivation I don't know. periods depends on the intended purpose of the deprivation. Has to be. Right? If it is when intended to be like this? a one element in the process of demonstrating helplessness in an unpleasant environment, a short nap of two or so hours would be sufficient. Perceptual distortion effects are not uncommon after 96 hours, but frank psychosis is very rare. Mind you, this is 2004, so it might be outdated by CIA yeah. standards. Yeah, by two yeah, decades. yeah, 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 definitely. Cognitive effects, definitely of course, be. are common. Uh, nevertheless, the medical <laughs> officer and psychologist should monitor the detainee for evidence of thought disturbance or other mental derangement. This is actually, like, you know what's insane about it, like reading a CIA document? is like, it is just so messed up to read one of the most civilized nations in the world, one of their, like, uh, CIA isn't a military wing, it's like a civilian faction, but to yeah. witness an entire branch of that government <laughs> write memorandums like this is insane. The maximum time frame permitted under CTC policy for continued deprivation is 180 hours. Recovery from extended periods in research settings has occurred with as little as eight hours. And I shit you not, they have a full, like, mathematical formula for how much <laughs> recovery one would need. Now, when it comes to things like sleep, obviously this video is, I guess, more intended to be a educational piece than most of my regular fare. You know, even if you hate my channel or hate me, at least you learn something at the end of the day. Based on one of these like uh, pieces from NPR, what they basically, uh, what I basically found out was even amoebas, like these single cellular organisms yeah. actually sleep. According Wait, to a research, they stop moving, ball up, and become unresponsive. They ball up? Bro, but how cute is that? Fucking... How cute? Amiibo VTuber when? We need an Amiibo VTuber, man. How adorable is Even that? when prodded. They do this for hours at a time, normally at night, and they exhibit rebound if kept on the move and deprived of this restful state. Wow, they In actually fact, insects, sleep! insects, fish, amphibians also sleep. Every mem member of the animal kingdom appears to snooze at one point or another. And the thing about sleep is, obviously, I always kind of research and wonder to myself, if we could find a way to take, like, a magical wonder drug that would just keep us awake, could we not have basically done that indefinitely, you know? At the end of the day, I, I wonder sometimes if I could just work the extra eight hours of my day and have them actually run together. But it's not possible. After all, when you sleep, your body goes through a million different things. And, you know, you go through cellular regeneration, you go through a million different processes that all haven't been properly even documented yet. And the thing about even just sleep in general is that when you go without it, okay, when you go without it for even like a day or two, you do feel like shit. Imagine yeah, I don't. 11, 12 days. What you're doing- I think the longest I've stayed awake was one and a half days. I don't think I've ever gone any longer than one and a half days personally. Yeah, like, I think that's the longest. And usually like when I'm sleep deprived or like trying to like reset my, what is it called, Arcadian rhythm? Like my, my, my sleep schedule in the end. I think the longest was um, or like usually what I go is like 25-ish hours-ish, but I think the longest is like one and a half days. 72 hours was my max? Jesus Christ. I stayed awake for like 32 hours and was going insane, then slept like 15 hours. Wow. thing is getting to a point where you're causing rhythm. actual That's the damages. One. Thank you. Based on Not one of the comments that I read out of Reddit, right? They were like one to two days, you'll probably get like fatigue. Day three or four, poor judgment and decision-making, hallucinations. Yeah. Day five or six, par Any Anyone in chat who's gone three to four days and has actually gotten hallucinations? Like, did you get hallucinations? Anyone? Anyone? I'm quite interested. Like, I'm literally quite interested uh, in, like, curious to see, like, what those, um, what shall I call it? What those uh, hallucinations look at. Challenge considered. Do not do this. Alistair Alcarian and Chaotic Comma. Wait, Chaotic Comma, what do you think? But Alistair, thanks for the follow. 
Thanks for the follow, thanks for the follow. The shadow people always appear, oh boy. I guess hallucinations from shrooms I ain't dumb enough for to not sleep. <laughs> I went almost 80 hours and didn't have any hallucinations. Okay. Cockroach, we, me, you had hallucinations? I'm already schizo, so Jesus. You can't remember anything after 48 hours. Oh my god. No hallucinations from me, but it but I felt as if I burned myself and the world wasn't real. Jesus Christ. The hallucinations are kind of fucked. I see patterns everywhere already. That's insane. Paranoia compromised immune system. Day seven to nine, which is critical, psychosis, possible organ failure, and of course day ten. Life by chance, I've mostly been watching your YouTube videos. Yo, welcome him. Thank you so much. <laughs> Glad you like it. A life-threatening state where you get permanent damage to the brain. Jesus, Even with yeah. all of his attempts, there could have been a chance that he can actually have damaged his body to a point where it may be irrecoverable. And if our That's buddy did so that, well, crazy. unfortunately, there isn't any, uh, any, 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 any refund on that. But <laughs> yeah. ultimately, out of this entire story, it's crazy to see a YouTuber is doing the sleep experiment, the Russian sleep experiment, in this fashion. Now, there have been some theories that Norm might have been pre-recording some of this stuff and uploading them, like basically recording these 12-hour chunks at a time. And, uh, you know, basically in between the, the chunks, he could have recorded a video and like basically edited it in a way where it looks like it's a continuous stream. And maybe that's true. Maybe that could be the case. Uh, it looked pretty real to me, but even if he was faking it, I would actually wish Norm would have faked this because any form of long-term body damage to yourself is just not worth it for whatever viewership that you get. But ultimately... This rabbit hole going down it has shown me that sleep is just one of those things that is the closest to dying a human being will get. I mean, just think about it. When you go into deep sleep, it's like your consciousness just turns off. Yeah. You know, when you get really existential about it, one of the questions I ask myself is, am I the same Mudahar consciously that I was the day before? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe some days I wake up and I can have a whole new conscience. Are you the same person you were <laughs> bro, mentally and bro, physically bro, as your body? Bro, that's some, that's some schizo talk. No, 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 don't go there. Don't, don't go there, Muraha. Do not go there. Any changes in the course don't of a week? There, that's a question I ask myself, too. But before I mentally break down myself with existential thoughts, I'm going to yeah. leave the video where I'm at right here. YouTube intervened and stopped somebody from actually Good. harming themselves Good. in a pretty serious fashion. You might think missing out on a couple days of sleep is okay. In reality, it is not. Do not punish your brain. Okay. Let it regenerate. Let this is me, okay. hard. Yep. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like it. If it does like it, I am out. <coughs> Sorry. Am out. <laughs> Yo, that little smile at the end, eh, yo? <laughs> and before Chub, BMO does a story of made up one on what happened to someone's brain or organs after they tried to beat the world record on the longest awake. It would be interesting to see, yeah. But it's also very crazy. Very, very, very not good. Very not good. Very not good. Very not good. No, no, no. Don't stay awake for too long, chat. Do not stay awake for too long. Um, if this goes onto YouTube, hi YouTube, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, bye!